Hello and welcome to this special episode on Campus TV. We decided to ditch the Halloween tradition of donning stupid costumes, fake blood, throwing in tons of stupid silly effects and sounds. And we're going to bring you the finer things in life, such as live music, poetry, and of course an in-depth analysis of the recent Brexit vote. So, I'm your host, Brad Baines. Let's get started. Ah! Leave out! Ah! No! There! Oh, Help! 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 Stefano? Stefano, are you there? Stefano? Can you hear me? Stefano, can you hear me? Stefano? Doing? Were you asleep? We're supposed to be looking for witches. Oh yeah, I found them. They're over there. Oh. What's so, up? We're witches. Bubble, bubble, doyle, and all that. You okay? Um. Yeah. No. Maybe. Is the camera broken? Well, let's have a look. Ah. Uh, what's wrong? Is it all right? Yeah, I've just noticed you've got a Canon 1300D DSLR, manual focus, no autoglide. <sighs> Novices. Well, you two can have a rest here for a bit, if, until you feel better. Join our Halloween party! Um, but who's gonna make the film? Oh, we can take care of that, we've got some top men. Uh, who? Top men. I'm Zombie, and this is Campus TV. Slen Slender! Oh, Slender! Oh, you're too kind! You know, I do put a lot of effort into keeping this trim figure. But you do know, being constantly fused to a suit like this really does accentuate the body. But you know what? I have to put in a lot of effort chasing these evil, and I, and I, and I mean evil, trespassers from my garden every single night. When they sneak in, they try and steal, they desecrate! My beautiful, my beautiful scraps of poetry. They are no good, rotten pieces of f No? No? The cardio is great. Also, I really get to keep on top of my carbohydrate levels because I don't have a mouth. Some people even say I feed only off creepy pasta. <laughs> Oh, that one kills me every time. Oh. When I say kills me, I mean nothing can kill me. I, I, I'm completely immortal. Uh, yeah. What plays fun? Don't you f***ing dare! I'm building a giant wooden statue in which we will house and burn to death our island's human sacrifice for the harvest. For the harvest. <laughs> yeah. I have to admit, it's kind of a bit harder. Count Dracula, and this is the Garlic Challenge. So what is the scariest monster then? It's definitely us. Not some chest-bursting alien or giant shark like the polls say. We literally bring back the dead. What the? I'm alive? Ow! No one can stand a strong female antagonist. It's not even just the female monsters who win in horror movies. Have you noticed? It's always the introverted brunette who gets the happy ending. It's not the athletic guy, it's not the cool it girl, it's not even the smart one, it's just 
The girl with the good personality? It's not like that in online dating. Except the racism's still there. You don't value your time in this world enough, Miss Sutton. So let's play a game. A very deadly game. A very dangerous but also cost-effective game because I may or may not be able to afford elaborate death machines anymore. Look to your right. You'll see a sharpened pencil and what looks like an open book of crosswords. Don't let this fool you. It's not just any crossword. It's cryptic. The clues have to be interpreted in a very specific way. If you don't complete it before the hourglass reaches... No! Don't look in the back! Well done. You passed the trial. The real test is to your left. It's a very special Sudoku. Some call it the killer Sudoku. Not because it'll dismember or impale you. No, it's just a bit more difficult than the regular one. Does it bring back any memories of wasted Sunday afternoons, Miss... Damn it! Fine. Have as long as you need. Asshole. Damn it. who lurks in the shadows, who everyone has heard of in legends and prophecies, and hopes isn't real? All me. They dress in my image every year, hundreds, thousands of them, yet those who truly fixate on me are driven to madness. And now, here we are. Well, what did you think I was up to the other 11 months of the year? Yes. It is I, the Easter Bunny, the epitome of new life, and believe me, what I give, I, I will take, take away. Think about it. I've been here for decades. Everyone assumes I'm nice because of my delicate ears, floofy tail and twitchy nose. But let me riddle you this. What is more blood-curdling than a murderous, cuddly animal? Gremlins, Five Nights at Freddy's, Ewoks, Critters, Zombie Beavers, and- Are you laughing? Oh, you asked for it. I'll show you scary. I'll go all motherfudging, farthing wood, water shit down, love as a bloody torment on your ass if you don't fear me. I'll- Monsters have the worst weaknesses. I mean, come on. Sunlight, wooden stakes, uh, holy water, garlic, uh, silver, ancient puzzle boxes, a good punch to the face. The list goes on. We women just don't have that, you know? We're more durable, we're more powerful, more psychologically scary. Provided you're not allergic to water. Oh, damn! I see deadpan. Behave, my pretties. So this time of year is both a blessing and a curse for me. I'm a medium, you see. I talk to the souls of the dead. 
uh, it's quite a lot of money on it. People hire me out to talk to their loved ones for seances. Excuse me, could I talk to Agnes James, please? Agnes? I did it. I took blood, sweat, and a YouTube how-to video on how to make giant wooden effigies. This probably put me on a watch list, but it was worth it. It's going to be perfect. Thanks for everything guys, we were hoping to capture something scary, but this has been really nice, right? Oh, well I'm glad you had fun, that is the point of all this at the end of the day, you know, Halloween. It's just sitting around with friends, telling strange stories, wearing costumes, having a good laugh with whoever wants in. I mean the adrenaline of the scare is fine, but it's having someone special to share it with. Are you crying? What? No. Maybe. I'm melting! I'm melting! Go 31! Go 31! Happy Halloween!